Hi guys, it's, it's me again, Bla, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And for today's episode, I'll be talking about a coach bag. Yes, let's go back to bag review. I'll be talking about this bag, okay? This is the Molly Bucket a bag from Coach. So if you would like to know more details about this bag, like what fits, try on, then you have to keep up with me until the end of this video. But for now, I just want to say thank you for those of you who just recently subscribed and watched my latest episodes. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. If you're new here, I welcome you. Welcome. My name is Bla, and here in my channel, I do bag reviews, bag comparisons, unboxing, anything under the sun. I talk about a little bit of beauty, haul. So if you find my content interesting, I just hope you consider in subscribing and hit that bell button so that you won't have to miss any of my episodes. Without further ado, this is the bag that I'll be talking about and I just want you to um, see this bag close up first. This is the bag, front of the bag, there. And then side, back, side, bottom, no metallic feet, and then top of the bag. Okay, if you would like to search about this bag, the style code is CA177, the color is pink. Um, it states here in the bag and then this one is made in Indonesia and the comparable value is um, US and Canadian dollars it's 398 um, in Philippine peso I got it like for around um, 10,500 it's quite expensive I got this on sale already and that's the price I don't know why but yeah anyway um, let's talk about this one further. Um, the material of this bag, it's not Sofiano, but it's like a textured leather. And then um, the hardware is gold. As you can see, there's a um, coach logo here, the horse carriage, coach New York, in gold hardware. And it has this small strap. It's also in pink leather. And the hardware is gold. There. Um, no, um, what do you call this? Uh, slip pocket at the back it's just that you can see like three um like line stitches at the back it's even and nice so there um very clean as you can see and at the sides you can see the glazing here both sides there as i said no metallic feet it's just that you know um leather and it, the bag can stand alone and what else there that's it very straightforward and then inside of the bag it's not button closure it has um you know three compartments um this left and right um sides and you have the middle compartment zipper compartment here you would see a snap button and very interesting you can see also the um logo of coach there's a horse carriage coach and here very nice actually and it's not fabric it's actually leather and that is a good thing because you can just easily you know clean the bag and it's fuchsia pink and then the other one it's beige you can see also the um what do you call this the cream of the bag and then yes yeah, so i said um snap button closure you have the middle compartment it's all throughout at the bottom and it's in beige and then on the other side it's still a uh, compartment it's also snap button closure but there's no um logo or yeah coach logo here there and there's the three stitches in the back as well as in front okay on top of this coach logo so um those are the features of this bag plus by the way it comes with this um short strap and it has this long adjustable strap also um that you can use as a crossbody and long shoulder bag it's also in pink uh leather and the hardware also in gold it has seven holes for adjustments later i'll show you how it looks once this bag is on me but for now 
uh, let's do a demo like what are the things that you can put inside I'll just gonna give you an idea um, okay let me just remove all the desiccants here <laughs> and papers okay there you go empty bag and then um, for the sake of this demo, I have a regular umbrella and this is how it looks if you put this umbrella, there you go. But if your umbrella is smaller than the regular, then definitely um, your umbrella can fit inside. Another thing is that a regular notebook, if you were going to ask me um, if a regular notebook can fit inside. So this one is a regular notebook. And yes, but you can still see it. So that's that. In reality, I'm not going to bring with me a notebook. Instead, um, what I'm going to bring is, of course, I'm going to have my wallet inside. Um, I'll try to squeeze in this small KK kit at the back. Um, I have my hairbrush here. There you go. Um, tissue. So there, I put my um, small KK kit, tissue, and hairbrush. And then on the other side, I put my wallet. And probably I'll bring with me a perfume. You could, you know, bring with you a small perfume. But this is just what I have for now. Um, a power bank. Or this one is the Apple MagSafe. I'll put it here. And then what else? My keys there okay and of course alcohol this is very important i'm gonna also squeeze that in and what else um face powder probably here at the back so there and i did not use the middle compartment because i feel like they share the same space inside but it's up to you uh, maybe your ID or any slim items I have to stop because it's kind of noisy but yeah what I have here is my small kiki kit pressed powder my hairbrush tissue and then here I have my wallet my key holder um, power bank uh, what do you call this alcohol and then perfume so that's it those are the things that you can put inside of the bag it's still light and yeah it snags a little bit here but can actually be arranged the things that you would like to put inside okay so there okay now i'm gonna show you how it looks once this bag is on me so again you have like um two options you can use the small or the short strap rather and the long adjustable strap okay first let's use the um short handle you could use this as a shoulder bag there this is how it looks front and then side of the bag you can also put here uh, on the crook of your arm there and you can just simply carry the bag like that now I attach the long adjustable strap um, first let's do like a cross body bag this is how it looks as a cross body bag there and currently it's in the middle hole there it's kind of low but you can adjust it based on your um, preference and based on your height. And by the way, I'm 5'2". And this is how it looks. There. Side. Front. And as a long shoulder bag, definitely this is too long. But let's go ahead and adjust. I adjusted the setting. This is the shortest setting. And this is how it looks as a long shoulder bag. Again, I'm 5'2". And this is how it looks. It's still long, but if you're, you know, taller than me, then I think um, it's good as a long shoulder bag. But me, um, if you're petite, I'm not recommending as a long shoulder bag because it's quite low there. But as a crossbody, I feel like this one is a perfect crossbody bag. And this is how it looks. There, front, side. Very nice as a crossbody bag. So there, those are the ways on how you can use this Moly Bucket 22. By the way, I forgot to provide you the measurements. And the measurements are for the length, this one is 8.5 inches. 
For the height, it's 8 inches. And for the width, this one is 4 inches. And if you would like to know the drop of this bag, this is 22 um, inches. So those are the measurements of this bag. Now, my thoughts about this bag, the color. I know that pink is not a go-to uh, color of everyone. But me being biased because I'm a sucker of pink color. So it's very nice. And um, it's not really a shocking pink. It's light pink there i like the combination of pink and gold um the back it is so clean i feel like this is an upgraded um version of town toad um although i feel like it's not secure inside because it's open although you have this zipper compartment but sometimes to be very honest personally i'm not um into the zipper compartment because as i have mentioned a while ago they share um space inside so yeah um, that's actually one of my con. It's not that secure because this is just a snap button closure. So just be very careful. And if you would like to utilize this for your essentials like your wallet, your uh, money, then better here in the zipper compartment. And I like that the inner lining is leather, not fabric, because it would be easier for you to clean. So that's a plus for me. Um, what else? Um, yeah, this one is a very nice bag to be very honest, although it's quite expensive right now, but if this one go on sale, then grab the opportunity to get one. There's a lot of colors to choose from, by the way. You have black, um, combination of signature colors, so yeah, just um, check the website. All of the colors are there. I like that there's actually two straps because you know you can create different looks if you wanted to dress down a little bit you could use the long strap for your long sh shoulder bag or a crossbody bag but as you can see a while ago i'm petite i'm 5'2 and long shoulder bag it's not good um that's my personal opinion um but if you're taller then i think long shoulder bag is good and there's a short strap if you want to like dress up a little bit then you can use this short handle it's kind of cute um well if i'm going to use this short handle i'm gonna put here on the crook of my arm or just carry the bag like that i'm not also recommending as a shoulder bag because it's not appealing to me i don't know but again that's just my personal opinion so yeah that's it um if i'm going to recommend this yes the bag is so nice and you can put still a lot of things not a typical work bag but you can live with it that's it that's um the end of this video thank you so much for watching until the end of this video if you like it please give me a thumbs up if you have any questions feedback or if you own a moly uh back in 22 share your experiences below and yeah um thank you again and i'll talk to you on my next video glow mates bye